Okay, so I'm looking at um, the email marketing emails. I have, let's see, one from Lane. Um, I believe this is Marshall, Elias, uh, Derek. These are more abandoned cart. Um, I think this one's from Megan which I only, yeah, and then, but I only got one from her. I'm supposed to have three of these from each of you. I have PetSmart, this is um, Erica H, and then this is Erica Arnold here. So let's take a look at this um, email marketing project, because it seems like there's kind of some confusion going on. This is actually a series. So win back email series. So, that, and the, so there's supposed to be three emails that you create um, with this. So I should be getting three emails from you. Um, so it should be made up of three separate emails. The theoretical timeline is outlined in the graphic below. Obviously, I don't want you to worry about creating an actual schedule for these emails. Just make sure you cre create three separate WinBack emails. So this is kind of how it, how it works in the real world. The WinBack email number one would go out in one hour. Win back email number two would go out in seven days, and then the win back email number three would go out in 14 days. So basically, your first email should contain a small discount or incentive. Um, you can show a motion, tell them you miss them. Um, it doesn't have to be a discount code. You can also do any of these things. Um, second email should remind them of the discount you sent a week ago and then offer them personalized recommendations based on their past purchases. So obviously, you don't get you don't have past purchases from an actual customer, but you can just get creative and make a few recommendations up. Um, and then the third email, just increase your discount amount to try and get them to purchase from you and also create a sense of urgency. So tell them the offer will expire within 24 or 48 hours, whichever one you wanna go with. Um, and then just make sure you have a call to action, um, which would probably be your button um, body copy that would support the call to action, which is, you know, trying to get them to come back and purchase um, anything from you, really. Uh, just come back to the website and do some shopping. Um, include a logo at the top, the email, and make it clickable to the home page of the company you choose. Colors and fonts that match the branding of the company you choose. And then I want you to use Photoshop, Canva, Illustrator, InDesign, whatever you're comfortable using to create at least one interesting graphic. For the inside of your email. So you'll have to use a PNG file or JPEG file for that within Constant Contact. Um, and then just remember to um, update the footer, so the organization name um, and the physical address, subject line and pre-header. Make sure you edit these for each of the three emails. They should be different for each uh, email. And you know, Try to have a catchy subject line. Including the offer in the subject line is not a bad idea. Um, so here's some examples of WinBack emails. See, they created this graphic, you know, using probably like InDesign or Photoshop or Illustrator. You can use Canva as well. But you know, they they created what looks like a card, and then they added this fifteen dollars off and this other text on top for the inside of this email. So I want you to do something like that. Um, this one doesn't have an extra graphic that was created um, separately, neither does this one. Um, this one has an animated GIF within it, but you know, they probably did create this graphic. Um, it might be, you know, like this big here with the images of the cupcakes. They put this in there, that, and then the squiggly line. Um, so they could have made that like, you know, in InDesign or something, exported it out as a JPEG and then put it together within can, um, constant contact. So let's look in here. Um, so Elias, he has three here. Um, so each one of his are different. Um, so the first one is $20 off of your order of a hundred or more. Um, and this is just a reminder of the $20 off your purchase, which is exactly correct. Um, and then he actually increased the discount amount, $30 off. 
So he did this actually totally right. He even added in emojis, which I kind of asked for. I'm not really docking off a ton if you didn't do that, but um, so this is an example of one that's pretty good. Um, okay, so, so this is the subject. So the Nike logo, you can click on it. It takes you to nike.com, which is awesome. Um, and then his offer is right here, right at the top, super visible for the customer. Um, he even has, you know, where you can go and he even hooked it up to the men's section and everything, which is great. And he made this graphic right here. Um, hello friend, we miss you crying person here. Um, and here's the offer again, and then his call to action shop now. Um, all the body copy, you know, supports the call to action. There's not a lot of body copy, but it looks good. He um, put the name here and the email, and he, you know, he updated that. And then, so, I mean, he did a good job. And this is the subject line, too. And he did good with his subject lines, too. Um, and so, don't forget, $20 off. So he, you know, is reminding, he's got that clickable thing. He's got the thing here, another reminder. And then he created this, which is really cool. Um, it looks great. And then visit our website, you know, to do some shopping, call to action. Um, this helps to support the call to action because it's an offer, I'm trying to get them to go to the website. You know, he's hooked these up, I'm sure, to the Nike. Um, oh, it still goes to Kate Spade. That's okay, though. Um, and then he's got, you know, this updated. So, I mean, it's this is looking good. All of these. So this is a really good example of what I want from you. Um, so he increased the, the amount on the third email. He put a, he even put an emoji in there. Um, he's got a clickable logo. He's got that up there. And then he created this, which looks great. Um, I don't see a button to click on, so that might be one thing that he kind of forgot in this email, but for the most part, it looks pretty good. So yeah, yours should look somewhat like his, and each one of these is different, and he followed all the, basically most of the rules, um, except for maybe forgetting the call to action in that third one, but anyway, if you can do something similar to that, hopefully this clears up some of the stuff with the went back email. Also, um, if you guys don't get this done, it's worth a lot of your grade. So I would suggest getting this done and then trying to get as far as you can with the animate lessons um, after that. So I would, I would focus on the win back email series. Um, if you only gave me one, go ahead and try and get two more to me. Um, looks like Lane needs to get me two more. Uh, Megan probably should get me two more. Um, and then I'm also just straight up missing emails from certain people as far as win back email series goes. So um, you definitely need to get this done if you want to get a decent grade in this class. So definitely focus on getting this done. Um, May 8th is absolute drop dead last day you can get these into me. So just remember that. Um, hopefully you guys are doing well and I miss you guys and um, hopefully we'll see you in the fall.